I hate color wheels, but I love this project because it's a way to do color wheels and yet still have some personal connections in what we have. So in this image, we have four hands and each hand is holding an object that represents something about the person that the painting is about. So it's actually my painting. So this hand holds a heart, which represents my relationship. This hand holds a paintbrush, which represents that I'm an artist. This hand holds the globe, that represents that I love to travel. And this hand holds a book that represents that I am also an author. You'll notice that the hands overlap in the same direction. And because I am right-handed, I traced my left hand in order to do these. And that's what you'll do. If you happen to be uh, left-handed, then you will trace your right hand to kind of make this work. And you would think that tracing a hand is a really simple thing to do, but it's actually easy to sort of mess up. And I'm gonna mess up here on purpose. So uh, let me get some paper. <clears throat> and when we trace a hand, um, sometimes people will put their hand on and the pencil kind of goes underneath uh, when they're doing the tracing and they're not really paying attention to making um, good clean lines that kind of go around and when I trace it and I'm digging the pencil underneath I end up with something that looks like an alien hand. The opposite can be true too where you're going too wide with it and you're going around and again not paying much attention um, to the lines as you go around the hand and maybe not being sensitive to the lines and you go around and then I end up something that looks like the Hulk. We want to have a tracing that's going to be relatively representative of the actual size of your hand. So I'm going to go ahead and um, trace my hand and I'm going to think of an object um, that is important to me um, or representative of me. So one of those things was going to be that, you know, my relationship, I suppose. So when I use my pencil, I'm going to hold my pencil straight up and down. And actually I might lean it in just a little bit because the pencil itself, the tip of the pencil is a little bit in from the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace this and go slowly around the edges. And I wanna catch the ins and outs of my hand carefully and keep that pencil straight up and down. It's almost as if I could have a coin balancing on the tip of my finger. Go around slowly and carefully and then I go off the page. And that's a pretty good tracing, and I have my watch in there. If I don't wanna have the watch, I could just go ahead and just connect that over there and erase that off. And then I would go ahead and put my object in here to be representative of my symbol. So I could go ahead and draw a heart in here, touching this finger and touching the other finger. So I have that in there. Now I just take my paper and turn it around and now I wanna have another object in my hand. So maybe I'm gonna want a paintbrush. So, so that my hand isn't boring in the same way each time, I'm gonna hold my hand like this and I'm gonna pretend that I'm holding a paintbrush. And I could actually hold a pen and then trace that in there or hold an actual paintbrush. And again, I would go ahead and trace my hand, this time in the new position. Take my time around the edges, keeping my pencil straight up and down. And now I can go inside the little circle my hand makes. And I'm gonna go ahead and overlap my lines because every time I overlap my lines, that can be a new color, that can be a new color, that can be a new color. And I go ahead and finish anything that wasn't quite there. I can also look at this and go back and draw what I see. So I've got a fingernail here, so I can pull my hand away and finish that fingernail. I can look back here, I've got another fingernail here, and I can go ahead and draw those things in. We don't need tons of details, but adding in some fingernails will give us some extra spaces uh, that we can color in. And then this one, I can barely see a little bit of a fingernail over there. If you wanna get a couple of wrinkles, you certainly could. Just pay attention to the edges that you see so put your hand where it belongs and then pull it away. Now I can go ahead and put in that paintbrush. And make it look like my hand was holding that. And I'll put the little brush on the end of it. 
and then I can turn it and trace something else in my hand. So let's say I want to represent travel. I could have, you know, a circle and I'm going to go ahead and hold this this way or maybe this way. That looks a little bit different. So again, I can go ahead, trace my arm using the pencil straight up and down. And when my fingers are together, I can actually move a finger out of the way and then trace that. Move a finger out of the way. Trace that. Go around my circle. Trace the rest of the arm going off the page. And now I need to get the inside of my finger, but I can't reach. So I can take, keep my hand there and then go ahead and draw my hand this way. Okay. Now I can go back and look at the details and go ahead and add in my thumbnail where it belongs. Can I add in my fingernail where it belongs. Um, I can go back on here. If this was supposed to be here, maybe we've got a little bit of the earth on that side, so I can capture that there. And then I can go ahead and draw, uh, you know, Alaska, maybe California, South America. We got Florida. <laughs> and I could go ahead and draw it, maybe throw in some Greenland. Maybe we got Spain over here, a little bit of Africa coming around the corner. And then I need to have my fourth hand. But you see how every time it overlaps, we're creating new spaces. And by putting in the fingernails, I create new spaces. And that way, when it comes time to paint this in and show my different colors, I use yellow and red. And where yellow and red overlap, we have orange. Where red and blue overlap, we have purple. So we can do our color wheel on this, and it can be more interesting. And later on, we can add in patterns to fill in the spaces. So. We're gonna work on this size because this is the same size as our canvas and it's easy to transfer our drawing onto the canvas if we're happy with it. If we make a mistake, it's easy enough to erase and smooth out the lines and make it look better. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and trace your hand four times, always turning the paper in that direction and adding just enough details so that we know that it's a hand. This is the time to let me know if you have any questions and you can go ahead and there's a link below that will take you to the rest of this lesson.